Hey there, today I want to show you how you could turn pretty much any mini PC into a streaming system so that you can have a two PC streaming setup or you can stream your console. While modern hardware like the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox Series X all come with hardware within them to let you actually stream for the console, you actually have very limited ability to actually customize how you're streaming. So having a mini PC like this with OBS will actually give you a lot of flexibility because you're not just limited to that hardware that you have right now. And the process of setting all of this up is extremely easy. Now keep in mind that you don't need to use this specific mini PC that I have. It is just what I'm using as an example, but it is a very strong and very capable system for this specific task. I'll show you exactly how it performs in this, but I think you're going to be very impressed with the overall results in this. And at the key of all of this is just one piece of hardware that we really end up needing, and that is a USB capture card. Now this capture card is the Avermedia Live Gamer Ultra. This will let you do all the way up to 4K 30 hertz over a USB port. It is more than what you need if you plan on streaming, but if you plan on recording, you can at least do 4K 30. But if you plan on just streaming, you can always get away with a capture card that only does up to 1080p. They are significantly cheaper. And again, that's all you're really going to need because of the fact that 1080p is pretty much the maximum resolution that a site like Twitch is realistically going to let you stream on and unless you have really high bandwidth there is really no reason to stream at a higher resolution than that youtube will let you stream all the way up to 4k if you wanted to but you're gonna have to pump so much bandwidth in it that unless you have gigabit internet at home or at least fiber you're really not going to be able to utilize that but this is all we need to get this setup going and this is what it looks like all completely set up we pretty much just have the hdmi plugged in into the capture card this is capturing another mini pc that i have but you can pretty much hook up any console that you want any other pc pretty much anything that you want to capture you can put onto this capture card and let me show you how you configure this in obs so within obs itself you pretty much just need to go here and you can see the video capture device it is the live gamer ultra video for me it will just be whatever it is for you now if you go to the output depending on whether you're going to be streaming or recording you're going to be setting things a little bit different but the encoder that you're going to be using is the same it is the quick sync h264 if you're going to be streaming onto twitch if you're going to be streaming onto youtube you can of course use the h265 one or the hevc as it's labeled on here once that's set you pretty much just need to go with the rate control of constant bit rate it is usually the best way to go about it and you can set your bit rate up to whatever it is that your site lets you go up to 6000 is about what's standard for twitch and of course i always go with the target usage of quality i want the best looking quality out of this that we can possibly get now if you want to record instead of stream you can always just go to the recording tab itself and you just need to change things a little bit it's usually going to be around the exact same settings you don't really need to adjust things more than this i would pretty much just go on to here and change your bit rate instead of 6,000, we go all the way up to something like 50,000. at that point you're pretty much going to get as good of a quality as you're realistically going to be able to use on youtube and you, here you can see what the load is actually like on the system when it's recording as you can see the cp is only seeing around 30% utilization. The iGPU is of course going 100% because its built-in encoder is what's doing all the work here and that's exactly what you want to see. With the encoder being fully utilized and our CPU having all this headroom it means we can do things like add in overlays, add in effects, add in stream notifications as well as a webcam all with plenty of headroom here and this is a system that is extremely cheap and that's really the biggest benefit to a streaming setup like this. You now get a system System that is completely dedicated to streaming so no extra load is being put onto your gaming hardware you get way more flexibility with being able to use obs to customize your stream to exactly your liking and if your pc ever crashes because you're playing a really buggy game it won't bring down the entire stream or recording with you because sometimes if you have obs crash on you while you're recording it will lose all of that recording itself and this is something you can also do with an amd pc it does not have to be an intel one i only use this intel one because it is the cheapest system that I have and I wanted to show you that you can do this on pretty much anything. And the thing that I like the most about a setup like this is just the fact that it's so flexible. You can pretty much just swap out any device that you want and your entire OBS setup is going to be exactly the same whether you're going to be streaming a PlayStation 5, whether you want to stream an Xbox or a PC, a Switch, pretty much anything. And this is a great setup if you want to actually stream from practically anywhere. You can pretty much get yourself something like an Elgato Camlink 
link and actually set this up pretty much wherever if you want to do just you talking to a camera type streams or videos let's say you want to stream from your kitchen a mini pc like this is far easier to set up in a kitchen you're going to be able to hook up your camera through a cam link and you're going to have the full flexibility of obs right there with you and it can become a very easy permanent setup to set up if you're someone that regularly streams from a kitchen because of the fact that it is extremely compact you can pretty much just vase amount this to the back of a monitor and you now have a pretty much permanent streaming setup with all of your stuff hooked up into it and it has more than enough performance headroom and in terms of image quality quick sync at this point has had pretty much a decade of development put into it so visually speaking it looks really great in both h264 and h265 if you're going to be using amd keep in mind that their h264 is still not as good as intel or nvidia but it's still going to be more than passable enough and if you actually plan on using hevc or h265 as it's also known as then on amd intel and nvidia you're going to have a great experience just know that you won't be able to stream like that if you plan on recording you're going to be able to do it just fine quicksync and nvenc from nvidia seem to handle lower bit rates better so if you're in the market for a new system to set something up like this then of course i would look into intel instead of amd but if you already have an amd system then you can more than adequately use it especially if you just plan on recording it really only becomes a problem if you plan on streaming and that really just comes down to the fact that twitch only supports h264 as of right now youtube does allow you to stream at h265 so if you're on an amd system that will be perfectly fine but the av1 revolution is about to be hitting youtube unfortunately this chip and really all current intel igpus do not support av1 encoding but at least by the looks of it it seems like their next generation of igpus are going to actually finally have an av1 encoder so we're going to be able to have igpus that let you use av1 which is going to give you far better quality at these lower bit rates but you're still going to get a lot of usability out of a system like this so if you're interested in setting something up like this check out the links down below to pick up a system that will allow you to do this as well as some recommended capture cards i really had a lot of fun testing this out because i really find it surprising just the amount of power that you can actually get out of a system like this and for a very low budget you can get set up doing pretty much whatever it is that you want out there where the hardware is not the limiting factor on the content that you want to make at this point it just comes down to your own creativity so get out there and start creating i'll catch you in the next one